Solve the following. Step one, look at this. There are fractions. Whenever you are plussing or minusing fractions, what do we get? A common denominator, a lowest common denominator. So you could think of this number over here as one over one, okay? So if you look at these three denominators, we could, we could make the lowest common denominator a four. If you said eight, that is also a denominator, so that would be okay. You will still get to the same answer at the end, okay? But I'm gonna use four, and so to do that, I'm, it means I'm gonna have to multiply the bottom by two, and what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. This one, I'm not gonna do anything, and then this part here, instead of saying one over one, it's now gonna become, um, you're gonna multiply by four at the bottom, and you're gonna multiply by four at the top. And so you now have a scenario where we now have this. Don't multiply anything out just yet, okay. And then um, four over four. Now, listen carefully, in mathematics, whenever you have an equation, that's something that has an equal sign, when your denominators are the same, you can ignore them, you can just get rid of them. So then, then what we have is this. Ooh, this question has a really interesting part. Can you see what happened there? Look at that carefully. This minus was for this whole thing. But when I wrote it now, this minus only looks like it's affecting the 3x. So you must do that, okay? Because this minus is for this whole fraction. So I put it in brackets like that. And then I say equals to four. Okay, so now we're gonna multiply the two in and so we end up with four x take away six. And then we're gonna multiply the negative in so it becomes negative three x take away one equals to four. Now it's just a matter of solving the equation. So I'm gonna take all the x's and keep them on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna take all the numbers and put them on the right. You see how I change them to pluses when they go to the other side? And so now we end up with one x, because that's four x take away three x, and then over here we end up with uh, 11. So x is 11.